Hey there. So are you thinking about moving to the Broomfield area and just want to learn a little bit more about it? Maybe the top neighborhoods that you and your family should be moving to? Well, that's exactly what this video is for. Let's get started. All right, Christy Lee here, and I am a local real estate agent. So if you do need assistance moving to Colorado or any of the cities around Denver, please let me know. I am the one those, that answers those text messages and those emails and phone calls. So please reach out to me anytime. I do all videos of my favorite cities to live in, uh, places to take your kiddos, places to, you know, around here to shop and eat. Um, if that's something that interests you, please click subscribe right there. That way you are notified every time I have a new video. All right, so today I'm gonna be concentrating on the Broomfield area, and I absolutely love Broomfield. I've done several videos on it before. So, you know, if you're thinking about moving to this area, I do have three top neighborhoods that I highly recommend. And what's great about these three neighborhoods is that they are all very, very close to each other. So you really can't go wrong with any of them. Um, all of them are going to be about on 144th and just east of Sheridan. Um, and they're all going to be about, you know, a few miles away from each other. And another great thing about these areas or these neighborhoods is that the amenities that are surrounding these three neighborhoods are all going to be great and they're all going to be relatively the same. So let's kind of go over that first. Um, so again, like I said, all three of these neighborhoods are going to be off of 144th and just east of Sheridan. And so you're going to have amenities such as King Supers, Safeway for your major um, grocery stores. You will have, as far as shopping is concerned, uh, the Orchard Town Center, which is off 144th and I-25. And then just across the street from that, you're going to have the outlet malls, uh, which is actually in Thornton even though um, I'm going over Broomfield right now, but they are really, really close to each other. Um, and then all three of them are gonna have a lot of trails and parks within the communities themselves. Um, so that's fantastic, uh, you know, and then obviously since they are so close to each other, you could kind of bike ride or whatever in between all the other um, neighborhoods and get to each other very close. So if your kids have friends in the other neighborhoods, it's really, really close. Okay, so for the first neighborhood that I'm going to highlight is going to be McKay Landing. And I have done a whole video on just specifically McKay Landing, but it is going to be still one of my top favorites in the Broomfield area. Now, the one of the few major reasons that I absolutely love it is because of all the open space and parks that this community has to offer. So right behind me is the McKay Lake and open space. Um, it's really, really cool out here. You could bring your kids uh, to go play. And it's just a kind of a different type of park um, than your normal ones that are going to be in the area with the normal playground and stuff like that. This is a little bit more rustic, a little bit more activity driven. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, you have the lake that's even a little bit farther behind me behind there um, as well as the uh, bike uh, it's not ramps but it has like you know the dirt you use your uh, mountain bike <laughs> those kind of things the jumps excuse me I don't know what I'm trying to say there but anyways, McKay Landing as a neighborhood is going to be right off of 144th and McKay Landing. Uh, that's the name of the street. And what I really like about this community as well is, well, one, it was built in the late 90s, early 2000s. So it is still relatively new. Um, it's extremely well kept. Um, so you would never even think that it's about 20 years old. Um, and then it does offer both condos, townhomes, and then single family homes. So the average cost for a townhome this area for about two bedroom two bath is going to hover right around that mid 400s price point and then the single family homes are going to go anywhere between about 550 to well into the million dollars so just depending on how big of a house you need um, and what's your budget is going to determine on what kind of house you're going to get in this area um, so it is just a really really cute little little you know, neighborhood is kind of like its own little niche right here, right off of McKay Lake. Um, so I highly recommend it. There is a little school that's going to be in the middle of all of it. Um, and then you do have that kind of small, like little neighborhood feel. So I could envision like little kids, you know, trick or treating during the Halloween time. Um, I think it's just going to be a really tight knit community in this area. And that's why I really, really like McKay Landing and highly recommend this as my number one um, neighborhood or one of the first neighborhoods that I highly recommend in Rootville. that I 
absolutely love about the McKay Landing neighborhood is the fact that it has its own elementary school right here in the middle of the neighborhood, as well as a preschool right here too. So if you have a young family who's in the either preschool age or even the elementary age, you're gonna be able to send your kids right here, right in the neighborhood. They could walk to school, ride their bike to school, super safe really awesome um, as well as there's going to be a community clubhouse so with a pool um, that's going to be right here in the middle of the neighborhood too so how it sits this neighborhood kind of like surrounds this part right here um, with the pool and the preschool and the clubhouse and then the community is kind of built around it so it's one big circle so it's just a really great family friendly very tight-knit little neighborhood uh, which is McKay Landing. Area is the Broadlands and I absolutely love the Broadlands because it is so diverse out here as far as the type of housing that it has to offer and what's really cool about this community is it is actually built surrounding the Broadlands golf course so you are going to get homes uh, you know condos and townhomes all the way up to multi-million dollar homes in this area it's really really pretty it's I mean it's spread out all you know the whole golf course so it's spread out uh, immensely here. Um, condos are going to be starting in the mid 400s, just like a McKay Landing, and then you're going to go up to multi-million, like I already said. Um, these, uh, this whole area is going to be on pretty much Sheridan, on 144th and Sheridan, going up to about Lowell. So it's really, really close to McKay Landing. Um, you're going to have Safeway. It's going to be right here, actually, in the Broadlands. Um, so you're going to have really, really close to that. There's a veterinarian office right there, too. And then um, a, uh, a preschool that's going to be right across the street as well. Um, this area also has to offer a clubhouse, pool, um, all of that good stuff, just like the other area. But it's just going to be a little bit... I don't know, just, I mean, their homes are going to be a little bit, uh, definitely bigger in some of the areas here. Gated, um, there are parts of this community that will be gated. Um, and then again, you're going to have cottage homes too, which I'll take you to, which is going to be a little bit a different look of a feel. You know, the, uh, the garages are going to be on the back side of the homes with a shared uh, driveway. So those are going to be really prominent in the Broadlands area as well. Okay, and so my third favorite community in the Broomfield area is gonna be Anthem. And Anthem, I have done a video on this, all of Anthem before, so please check that out if you haven't already. But the cool thing about Anthem is, one, it's gonna be pretty much the northern part of Broomfield, and it hovers right on the edge of Erie. So um, Anthem is gonna be located about in between 144th-ish, uh, in between that and Highway 7, right off of Lowell. And it's really, really big. It's actually separated into three separate communities or three separate neighborhoods. So you have Anthem Highlands, which is gonna be your homes that are gonna be anywhere between about 600 going up to over a million dollars. Those are gonna be your single family homes. Your school is also gonna be based in, um, in the middle of that as well. So your elementary school. You have Anthem uh, Reserve, which is going to be on the top part of the community. And those are going to be starting right around mid 800s, going to well over a million dollars. And those are going to be semi-custom homes. You'll probably have more views with that community as well. And then the third one that's in Anthem is going to be Anthem Ranch, which is going to be 55 and older community. They actually have their own um, clubhouse, their own amenities, everything within their own neighborhood over there.
The other two, Anthem Reserve and Anthem Highlands, all are gonna share a community clubhouse. It has an outdoor pool, a gym, a basketball courts, tennis courts, all of that good stuff. It's a really, really cool um, clubhouse and community that the two of those neighborhoods share. Um, also with Anthem is you're gonna have a bunch of trails. Um, they're all going to interconnect with each other all within the whole community, which is fantastic if you're, especially if you're an outdoor person and you like to walk the dog or, um, you know, ride your bike or whatever. All of these trails are actually going to connect into each other and you can actually ride them into Louisville, Lafayette, and even take it as far as into Boulder if you wanted to. So this whole community is going to be the newest community of the three that I'm talking about. Um, these ones are going to be still actually currently being built. There's a lot of new build still taking place within Anthem. So if you're looking for something more on the newer side, say built within the last five or 10 years, Anthem's, Anthem is going to be the place to go for sure. And then again, like I already said, if you're in that 55 and older community um, range, Anthem Ranch is amazing. It's super, super cool. Um, it's gorgeous. The landscape out there is phenomenal. All of them are going to be ranch style homes. Um, and then you're going to have the clubhouse within there. They have their little own, um, you know, rec center and pool and all of that good stuff within that own community. The amenities that are going to be surrounding Anthem, you're going to have a huge King Supers over here, which is more on the eerie side, but still it's within walking distance to be perfectly honest. Um, and then you still will have all the other ones I talked about with the other two. So you have the orchards, um, you have the town center um, or the, the outlet mall. Um, but one thing that I do think is kind of cool about this specific community is that you're going to be a little bit closer to the toll road. So the Northwest Parkway. So if you're somebody who needs to get out to DIA quite a bit or anything like that, um, you're going to be a lot closer to the toll road. I mean, the other ones are pretty close too, but this one you're actually right up against it. Um, so that's something to think about too. And then as well as you're probably going to have a little bit more better views over here, just because it kind of sits right up here on this little foothill. Um, so you're going to have a little bit better view probably in Anthem as well. Okay, that is my top three neighborhoods in Broomfield. I do want to actually also mention that all three of these neighborhoods are going to be in the Adams uh, 12 five star school district. So I don't believe I mentioned that before, but I do want to make sure that you knew that all of these neighborhoods are going to be in Adams 12 five star school district. It's an excellent school district. Um, definitely look it up. It's about B plus rating. So it is a very good school district for your kiddos. Um, I think that all three of these neighborhoods are going to have something awesome to offer. McKay Landing has all the, has the lake, has all the parks. Um, you know, the Broadlands has a golf course. And then, you know, um, Anthem has 55 and older, has a bunch of trails and is really close to uh, the toll road. So just depending on what you're looking for, what your budget is, because they're all going to be pretty the, much the same. Um, but what you're looking for, whether it be newer, the area, um, I think all three of them are going to be very great contenders for you to look into. Again, Christy Lee here. So if you do have any other questions, please reach out to me anytime. Please click that subscribe button right there. Tap that like button that way that I know that you're enjoying my videos. And to the next video, take care.